One of the most underused um, items that you can use in Photoshop is the blend modes. I think it's because there's 25 of them and it's a little overwhelming, but it really is a quick way to change the total look of a photo or um, document in Photoshop. So I have a very pretty picture open of a flower and I want to um, go through the blend modes and show you the effect that each one is going to have. Now first of all you need to have a background um, that you can put this flower on top of and I'm just going to go ahead and create a whole new document. Create a new canvas. I'm going to go 1000 by 1000. You could do whatever size you want. And you can even put another photo in here. You can do a gradient. It's all going to have an effect on what you see when you blend. I like personally to choose a color from my actual photo and just use a solid color. You get a really pure result that way. So I'm going to go ahead and use the eyedropper tool. And I'm going to select this darker color. And then I'm going to use the paint bucket tool and then I'm going to fill this canvas with that color. I'm going to use my move tool and I'm going to go ahead and move this photo of the flower into my um, canvas. Okay, so now we have this to work with. I'm going to go through each blend mode so you can get an idea of what it looks like. So it'll help you decide which one you'd like to use in, in your next Photoshop document. So normal, of course, um, is going to give you no result. It's just going to be normal. And dissolve is going to slightly dissolve it. Darken is going to darken it. And you could just use your um, down arrow on your mouse to go through these. Multiply, it's a really neat look. And then color burn, which also gives you a really great outline of your object. Linear burn, a little bit darker. We have darker color. Um, lighten, which is also a very unique look. Screen, color dodge, linear dodge, lighter color, overlay, soft light. And of course, if you were to set about a different background, like if you were to set the color um, blue or maybe a complementary color, then you're gonna get a whole new look. Hard light another nice look. Vivid light, linear light, pin light, hard mix, difference, exclusion, hue, saturation, color, luminosity, and that's the 25 blend modes. So now you know how to apply them and the different looks you're going to get for each one.